It's just uh, going to be a quite brief, hopefully, um, view of Doodle Doo and how it's come on. Remember I had those bullion knots on my blog yesterday? Well, the reason I did those was for this page of Doodle Doo to continue kind of like the tea towel theme about um, embellishment in strips on that surface when I actually get round to making these silk tea towels. So I wanted to put them in here. Now they're in here and you can see them and you'll see on the photographs that you can see them but I'm quite disappointed at the way they're standing up that they're not proud as proud as I would like and I think that's because this paper is quite thin now I'm just going to lean over and oops, get something else because that paper is quite thin but let's say here where I've done it in a ledger that I did in ledgers class I've done a similar thing and these stand up beautifully because this is thicker paper, this is watercolour paper. So they do stand up pr more proud on this page than they do in here. But never mind, I mean, we, we learn from everything. Um, so if I thought about it, I think perhaps if I stitched down the edges, that would help, help with the, to get the appearance I wanted. Um, I may do that, but I'm, this paper is vulnerable because it is so thin and then on the back there's a lot of tape and stuff going on and it's really not easy to stitch through tape and then your thread gets a coating of adhesive as you're pulling it through the tape. So I might just put this down to experience, but perhaps with hindsight I should have done it on a strip of card or watercolour paper and then stuck it in as opposed to integrating it with the page. So I've learned something from that, um, I'm not going to stress about it, it doesn't matter, it's still a valuable exercise, maybe, you know, even if only for the wrong reason. So, and then I stuck in some other stuff that I did, and you've seen before, but like my buttonholes, my long strip of buttonholes, now they're put in behind the page, they've been inserted actually into the page, and then the card that accompanied them, well it's not card, it's very heavy watercolour paper, that's been put in there. So things are getting put in here and it is developing, um, and you've seen this before. So what I'll do is, I'll just go through again from the front, so that you can see, um, the, just a recap really, because I know you've seen it all before. This page, I was looking at repetitive pattern, uh, if you remember, and I've just stuck a, a picture of my own work in here. Because away from this, if you think about my wrapping cloths and everything else I do, my work is repetitive, so it fits. So I've stuck that in, printed some of my own work off and stuck that in. So that's the first page that I did. Um, that was the second page, the little mounted samples of embroidery on silk. Um, this was the third page where I'd been withdrawing threads and I actually put pencil to paper here and did some sketching, which it's appalling actually, the lack of sketching in this book but never mind, um, and then my first buttonholes and then the applique with the metallic silk and the artist reference are there and then remember I was looking at words, I printed off some words repetitive, um, simplify, monotonous I defined all those words because they were relevant to how I was thinking about this and then the page where I actually began to look at the tea towel shape it draping in a kitchen and added inserts of embroidery and actually stitched into the paper too and there's another one like that here so that's that's not well there's a little bit of embroidery but it's more manipulating the paper with surface distortion on these two and then turn it back that way and then here I had these two with the tea towels, imagine them hanging over a rail, that's what these were. So they were the last things I'd put in here till yesterday and that was when I put in the buttonholes and the work that went with the buttonholes and that's when I put the bullion knots in um, and I want something else on here, I haven't quite decided what yet but I, you know, I'm going to try and work on that but I'm going away tomorrow so it won't be today. Um, so that was it really, just a very brief recap of Doodle Doo and where I'm up to and how it's progressing and I really do hope to actually stitch this series of tea towels, I really hope to get around to that, I've got a couple of things I need to finish first but then I'm hoping to get onto this um, and work away at these and get myself a series, okay.